My aim was and is to deliver Brexit and help our country move beyond the division of the referendum and into a better future. A country that works for everyone. Where everyone has the chance to get on in life and to go as far as their own talent and hard work can take them. That is a goal that I believe can still unite our country. I knew delivering Brexit was not going to be simple or straightforward. The result in 2016 was decisive, but it was close. The challenge of taking Brexit from the simplicity of the choice on the ballot paper to the complexity of resetting the country's relationship with 27 of its nearest neighbours was always going to be huge. While it has proved even harder than I anticipated, I continue to believe that the best way to make a success of Brexit is to negotiate a good exit deal with the EU as the basis of a new deep and special partnership for the future. That was my pitch to be leader of the Conservative Party and Prime Minister. That is what I set out in my Lancaster House speech, and that was what my party's election manifesto said in 2017. That is, in essence, what the Labour Party's election manifesto stated too. And over 80% of the electorate backed parties which stood to deliver Brexit by leaving with a deal. We've worked hard to deliver that, but we have not yet managed it. I've tried everything I possibly can to find a way through. It's true that initially I wanted to achieve this predominantly on the back of Conservative and DUP votes. In our parliamentary system, that is simply how you normally get things done. I sought the changes MPs demanded. I offered to give up the job I love earlier than I would like. And on the 29th of March, the day we were meant to leave the EU, if just 30 MPs had voted differently, we would have passed the withdrawal agreement and we would be leaving the EU.